and even with like all the police brutality, that was one of the the things that we did um, that I initially started all the the work that I previously did at Catalog around it was the truth, racial healing and transformation work. Um, but it was because of the shootings. It was actually the shooting that happened in St. Louis um, over 10 years ago. And so it's crazy and unfortunate. That's where we're at right now, that that's one of the main triggers right now. But that's, that's what was one of the biggest things was how can we bring communities in a space with police officers so that they actually can hear each other. Because everything's not black and white either. Right. Right, right, and I, and I think this. I think that's why I think this divisive position we find ourselves in politically is so problematic, because it makes things so black and white. When in truth, things are super gray <laughs> in every uh, variation you can think of, and we need to have a space where we we are able to heal. We're able to hear, like you said earlier, where you were e able to hear each other's story and to see each other and uh, you know see ourselves and others as they struggle. Right, and, he, and as you hear their story and you get to know them, you're like, oh, they're having struggles that I'm familiar with. Um, and yeah, maybe I'm not from the same, same racial background or the same gender, but I hear their story and I hear my story and their story. 